Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do the uh, September 2023 tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I am using the Pagan Ways Tarot. If you'd like to purchase this amazing deck, click the link down below in the description box. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. Beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, we're going to take the bottom card. Okay, and let's see what we have here. Start out the month with the Knight of Cups. Okay, so there's some kind of romance coming your way. <laughs> the Knights bring action, okay? And the Knight of Cups is bringing some type of emotional excitement into your life. Maybe a romantic invitation, Okay, being brought in by this Knight of Cups in the beginning of September. Maybe somebody's asking you out on a date. Uh, the energy this knight symbolizes is always felt on an emotional level. Uh, he represents offers being brought to you that will be accompanied by a high level of excitement. Um, and due to the element he represents, the Knight of Cups is the one to look for in relation to romantic invitations, proposals of marriage. So maybe some of you will even get proposed to. Some of you may be getting asked out on a date. Okay. Um, sometimes if you're, you know, an artistic person, um, there may be work coming your way. Um, that, you know, because artists are very emotional and they put their emotions into their work. So it could mean different things for all of you out there since this is a collective reading. And then in the middle of the month, oops, we have the Eight of Wands. So there's some fast moving energy taking place here in the middle of the month. This could be a message coming in that you've been waiting for. This could also mean air travel. See these wands, these arrows going through the air? Okay, maybe some of you are going to be getting on a plane and in traveling somewhere. Okay, whatever it is, the, the energy is going to be very, very uh, fast moving. Okay, it's going to seem like a burst of activity out of nowhere. Um, this also means that good news could be arriving in the middle of the month as well. And then at the end of the month, we have the hermit. So you're going to get some quiet time at the end of the month, okay? Maybe you have some questions that you need answers to at the end of the month. And the only way you're going to do that is by going into hermit mode. The hermit takes a break in the action. He withdraws from society. He goes within because he is knowledgeable enough to know that he has all the answers that he needs within himself, okay? So this is a good time at the end of the month Okay, to contemplate things, you know, withdraw temporarily from the action that's going on around you, go within, okay, and you have the answers within you that you need. So maybe you need some time to meditate, you know, or some quiet time, maybe go out in nature to have some time for, you know, introspection to, to access the information that's within you. So get some quiet time and withdraw. Go within at the end of the month and the answers you seek, you will find within you. What an interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, I would appreciate if you please hit the like button, help this channel grow and get exposure. Drop a comment down below and let me know if this resonates with you. And above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.